name is Deshaun, and today we are getting started on episode five. This is quite literally the third time that I've recorded this video because every time that I've recorded, something happened, something went wrong, or I lost the files. So I'm hoping that this time will be, you know, third time's a charm. So in this episode, we're gonna be working on commands. So commands are pretty easy, and I decided that I wanted to do them pretty early into the series because uh, they're very versatile. You can do a lot of things with them. You can trigger a lot of different things, um, and they're really the kind of the core for plugins for the most part. Obviously, you can do things with events and whatnot that kind of change the game. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with commands. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to make a command that just heals me, um, and I'm going to make it so the console can't use and only the player can heal themselves. Uh, if you guys want to go a little bit more advanced, feel free to go ahead and make it so the console can heal people and people can heal other people. But I'm just going to do doing this to just show you the basics of commands. So you're going to open up your plugin.yml, and if you've been following along uh, in the series, we're using Minecraft for or Minecraft Dev for IntelliJ. So it creates all of this for us, including the plugin.yml. It's going to be in your resources folder, which uh, you can't see. Let me pop over to here. So you can see here, it's in our resources folder. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and add commands, the command name, the description, and the usage, which you can also go ahead and just make it that as well. Um, whatever your preference is, um, I like to do it this way. Um, actually, I really have no preference, it's just the way I happen to do it this episode. So yeah, so that's it for the plugin.yml. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new class. Let me make sure I'm back on my Zoom screen here, okay. We're gonna create a new class, and we're just gonna call this command class. So the first thing that we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go ahead and say implements command executor. And we want the org.bucket.command. Now, if you're using IntelliJ or Eclipse, um, I believe it does it in Eclipse, it's gonna tell you that it this needs to implement something, right? This class is not complete because it's missing what needs to be implemented. So in IntelliJ, if we just get on the line, we can go ahead and click Alt Enter, and then we can go ahead and implement methods. And then it's gonna come up with what we need. And here we go, now we're all set. So we have command sender, sender, and the command, and the command, the string, which is gonna be the label, and then the string, which is gonna, or the array of strings, which is gonna be the arguments. So we're gonna go ahead and just quickly return true there. Now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to check to see if the command actually equals the command that we need it to. So here we're gonna go ahead and say if command.getName dot equals ignore case, and we're gonna say heal me. Let's go ahead and go over. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and basically check to see if the sender is an instance of a player. Now we wanna do this because we wanna make sure that only players are sending this command. So if we go ahead and say, if sender instance of player, we can now cast the player or cast the sender to the player. So we're gonna say player player equals parentheses player and then sender. So now what we can do is we can start diving into this, but if not, we're gonna go ahead and say else, and we'll just say sender dot send message, chat color dot red, only players can execute this command. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using sender dot send message and not bucket dot get console dot send message, is just in case for some reason uh, this is a player, and it shouldn't be, but for whatever reason, if it's a player or something along those lines, or somehow, you know, maybe they're using a disguise plugin and it actually changes their, you know, their player value or, or makes them actually look like a zombie or something, you know, just so it always sends to something, right? So now that we have that, uh, we're going to go ahead and we don't need a return statement. So the next thing we want to do is we want to check to see if they have enough arguments, right? Because we're going to we need the command and then our first argument, which is going to be the amount they want to be healed by. So if we go ahead and say if args that length is less than one, let's go ahead and send the player a message and we'll go ahead and give them a good old red. Please include how much you want to be healed by. And we'll close this off and then we'll just go ahead and return true. Else if, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do an else if so that way, later on if we wanted to have two commands, we could we could do this, or two arguments, we could do this. If args.length is equal to one, we're gonna go ahead and start some stuff. 
So what we want to do is we want this, the first argument is going to be a number value, right? It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a number. So we want to cast that or parse it to a double. We're going to use a double. You could use an integer, um, works just as fine. Uh, I'm going to use a double just, just I'm going to use a double just because that's what uh, the health is done in. So I think it just makes sense to keep it the same. So we want to make sure that the second number or the second or the first argument is actually a parsable uh, string, right? We want to make sure it's actually a number and they're not trying to parse n or something. So what we're going to say is we're going to go ahead and say try and then catch. And this is going to be number format exception. And we're actually just going to go ahead and send them a player or send them a player. We're going to send them a message instead of printing out the stack trace because we know where the error is going to come from. So there's no sense to putting a giant error in our console for, you know, the console owner to see when uh, very clearly we know what this error is going to be caused from. It's going to be caused from it not being an actual number and not being parsable. So we're going to go ahead and say, please input a real number. And we'll just go ahead and return true there just, just because. So now in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a double, which is going to be P health. This is going to be player. Oops, player dot get health. And then we're going to have our new health, which is going to be a double. And we'll say add health is going to be equal to capital D for double and double parse double. And we want args brackets zero because everything starts at zero in pretty much every programming language. So we're going to parse that. And then we want to go ahead and say, we want to check to make sure that the player actually can be healed, right? So we're going to say if health or P health is less than 20 because the player has 20 health, each heart represents two. So we have 10 hearts, multiply 20. We're going to go ahead and say player dot set health is player oh, is P health plus add health. And then we'll go ahead and say player dot send message. Let's go ahead and do chat color dot gray. You have been healed for. And then we'll do plus. Hopefully this is still on the screen for you guys. Yeah, it is. Chat color dot green. And then we'll say add health. Health. So you have been healed for our add health amount health. And and then if their health is not that, we'll go ahead and say else. And let's just go ahead and add a return statement here. Let's go ahead and say return true, just so we can end it off there. And then we're gonna say else player dot send message. And we'll send them in yellow because it's not really like like a red sort of like error. It's just kind of saying like, hey, you don't need it. So we'll go ahead and say chat color dot yellow. If you take some damage, dot dot dot. I could heal you. And then we'll just go ahead and return true on this one as well. Let's just go ahead and clean up our code. And let's just pull back over here and let's just uh, press enter there. So that way we have that on uh, two separate lines there. So yeah, okay, so now we're gonna go over here into our Maven projects. Oops, so Maven, episode five, we're gonna go click install. This is gonna install to our target directory which is in my plugin folder, or my uh, development folder here. So if we go ahead and wait for this to process, you can see there that it's going right there. We'll go ahead and copy this over to our server, paste it in, and then we'll start our debugger inside of IntelliJ. It's gonna start our server. We've gotta wait 15 seconds because I still have yet to update. Okay, so now while we wait for my Minecraft to load, if we go ahead and do heal me. Oh, we forgot to do one very important thing. In our on enable, let's go ahead and say this. So it's gonna be this, dot git command, the command name, heal me, dot set executor, and gonna be a new command class. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's reinstall it, and then we'll just recopy it over to our folder here. So let's check our console first. So if we go ahead in here and we do heal me, you can see here only players can execute this command. And now if we open up our server and we do slash heal me. So it's telling us 
that we need to include how much we want to be healed by. Maybe we should almost check first if uh, the player even has any damage done to them. I think that makes more sense. No, we can keep it there for now. No sense of changing it all around. So let's just go ahead and say, heal me one. And you can see here it's telling us if you take some damage, I could heal you. So if we go ahead and just change our game mode quick to creative. And let's just fly up some. That should be plenty damage. And then let's get back into survival mode. Okay. So now if we go ahead and do heal one, you can say you have been healed for one health. And we can keep doing this until we're full. And then look at that. We cannot be healed anymore. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys learned how to heal players and you also learned uh, how to set up your commands. Pretty easy. In another video, I'm gonna show you guys um, probably a little bit later on how you can register your, all your commands without even actually having to uh, put, put them in the plugin.yml. Um, kind of a nice thing to do if you don't really wanna do it. Um, if you just wanna have a quick way to add all your commands without having to manually add them to the plugin.yml and maybe forgetting, um, but yeah. So that's all I got, and uh, be sure to come back on Tuesday for another video, and I'll see you guys next time.